I was always amazed by how easily Paul slipped into the style of radio presentation because, you know, he was a, a comedian and an actor uh, and the, the two don't always work together. But Paul came in and it was as if he'd been in a radio studio all his life. He was a, a terrific communicator. That was the secret to Paul. He could get his point of view and his personality across just in a few words. Uh, and there was a, an innate kindliness uh, and you know, uh, a lack of nastiness about him, which, you know, the Lily Savage character was uh, pretty harsh, but the real Paul, Paul behind that character, was much softer, gentler, kindlier person. And uh, that came over on the radio. I think his radio audiences understood uh, him very well, and he understood his audiences. Uh, I wouldn't say Paul was shy, uh, but he wasn't as brash, perhaps, as you might expect um, from his personas. He, um, he, he would always have a good line, always have a funny line. And, uh, you know, he'd occasionally walk past, you know, and say, oh, you've been on the ale again, I see, that kind of thing. When I was like, no, it was just a glass of water. Uh, but he always had a, a, an amusing line, always a, a, a cheering word, uh, and usually an uplifting word to say to you as well. So he was really an all-round good guy. And I think those people who've seen him on television, particularly with the, the dogs at Bassey Dogs Home, can see just how giving a person he really was and what a soft touch he was, really. A very emotional man.